Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Um, in this screencast, we're going to be um, learning how to install and configure the web form module. Uh, the web form module can be used for several things, but mostly is used for collecting data on websites. Uh, so we can say data like service and you can use it for your new contact us form page and several other stuff. Um, the contact uh, web form module is um, similar to CCK, but they, they will work differently. In CCK, um, every time a content is created, a new node uh, is created. But web form, no nodes are created. So look at how to work with the web form module. Uh, there are several other uh, modules that work. Uh, with web form such as options elements select or order my mail capture web form validation we've got web form phone number web form admin several others uh, we'll look at those ones in another tutorial so today we will start out with working with the web form module so let's start out by installing uh, our web form module and enabling it so I go to Drush and I do Drush download our web form download that for me and then I do rush enable web form once that's downloaded and I say yes yeah. once that's done I do rush CC all ah, that's not enabled yet rush enable web form and yes and rush CC all should clear our cache next Okay, so we'll clear our cache and then we should be ready uh, to work with our web form module. So let's go to a website, refresh our website. And yep, so we are ready. So if we go to content, when you want to use it, just come to web forms. Uh, when I click on web forms, uh, the first thing it tells me is there are currently no web forms on your site. Create a web form piece of content. So yes, we say create a web form piece of content we call this my first web form uh, this is a sample test or a sample web form and um, not me I'm going to give you a menu my first web form or we just call it um, test web form you can give you a description if you like our uh, comment settings we want that closed and we can leave everything and click on save once you've done that um, our web form has been created so if we go to our own page now and uh, that's the link called test web form if you go there so it says this is a sample web form which is the body so it's like the description of our web form you can make yours an image whatever you want to put in there put in the body and it should come up fine at the top here however we have a web form but we've not got no fields so how do we work with fields uh, we can go back here and change things or you can click on web form tab and this will bring you back uh, to this page all right so if you look here we've got form components we've got emails and we've got form settings uh, for now we'll work with form components um, to create a form components if you look here there are several fields we can work with we can work with date email a field set file grid eating markup number page break select options text area text speed and time uh, we'll try as much as possible to cover everything if you can finish it all and uh, then we will do it in our next tutorial uh, so let's start out. So let's say, for example, we want um, to create a, a, get a first name and a last name in our web form. So we can type first name, uh, select text field, and we can decide to make it mandatory. We click on there, yeah, and we'll click on add. When we add that, you can decide to give it a default value. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute and we can give you a description so we can say uh, use this 
to enter your first name your first name um, you can make it unique uh, meaning this same value will not be allowed in a, a, a textbook so you can check that there are situations when you might need that you can give you a maximum length of the text views I guess use and first names are not always more than 30 words uh, characters rather and um, width you can give you default width prefix you can say a prefix postfix you can set that uh, you can disable it if um, you don't want it to be a detail and you can make it private especially maybe for the guys who check the results I click on save component uh, once we've done that we come to our web form now click on refresh now we see first name and you see use this to enter your first name it, easy isn't it all right so let's continue working um if we go back to that particular field and i click on token values um you can set a default value so say for example you want to use the first name as the uh, default and um, first name we can copy that token and paste that in and click on save components and if we come here and refresh so my username is defaulted as my first name so that's how to use tokens uh, to set default values on your um, web form all right so let's create another view we call this last name Let's make a text view also and make it mandatory. Click on add. Um, you can give it a default value if you like. You can give it a description. I'll uh, leave everything as the way here. Click on save component. And if I come here and refresh, so now we should have first name and last name, I believe. Yeah, so that's the last name, that's the first name. So let's say, for example, when the age create age and uh, let's use dates yep and we click on add uh, so yeah you can make this mandatory field if you like use a time zone website time zone just leave it that way start date two years end date two years don't worry everything should work fine you can either make it a pop-up calendar or make it a text field for year and this if you can change the label maybe above inline or not and I click on save components so that should create an age field for us so now the user can select their age or oh, click on that and select uh, it using this so basically this is how to work with um, the date field in um, web forms um, there are very amazing um, fields which we can work with say for example we want a few set let's create a few set and let's call it um, um general information uh, information and let's remove that and make it n and click on add and you can give a description you can make it collapsible collapsed by default i level private uh i say collapsible and um, yeah so that works fine general information if we click on save component if you come here and refresh i believe you shouldn't see anything yet because there's nothing inside so let's put all these fields inside this field set and so we can take first name drag and um, move it to the le right left name drag move it to the right a drag and move it to the right click on save and now if we refresh that voila we should see the general information are contained within just one field set so you can collapse that you can expand that uh, so it's getting really interesting right um let's create another field um let's look at uh, number okay we shouldn't call this age we should call it um uh, date of birth uh yeah let's give it date of birth and this should be DOV and click on save components right so let's create a new field um, we'll call this um, um, current salary 
current salary and then let's give it a number and let's click on add and that should create a new view for us and so we can set a minimum value of um, one um, permit only integer values as input yes mandatory we can set that um, step we don't need that um, okay text field select so these we make it a text field prefix we set it's a great British pound suffix we can put a JVP and there's in more places you can set it to whatever suits you for your country or whatever works best for you click on save components and that should be done so let's refresh that page and see what that looks like so yep we've got the British pound there and GBP there so you can type in the uh, current salary so that's how to work with um, um, the number field in web forms let's look at other interesting ones let's set uh, something like sex and let's select um, now in this case we want something which is either a radio button a checkbox or a drop down so when you want either a radio button a checkbox or a drop down list you use select options so i do select options click on add um now what are the options so we have uh, mail now normally when you're creating options you want to read this instruction and follow it and the way we work with um, um, drop downs checkbox and radio buttons in html uh, or should i say in php there's always um, the identifier and then there's the readable name this is what is used um, in the program to identify that field rather than the readable name so yeah we'll give you something like mail and uh, call the mail Mail. Give it female, and uh, so let's separate that and give it female. And uh, once that's done, if we load a preview option list, we wouldn't be using that. Uh, we'll come to that later. Uh, display it as a list box. No, we don't want it as a list box. We'll show you what all this looks like soon. Um, above display you can save component now and we'll come back to that field and I'll show you several things so we have sex if I come here and click on F5 so you find out that now we have either male or female so you can select wherever it is we want if we go back there and click on edit um, if I do list box click on save component and if we refresh that now, now we should find out that we now have male or female all in a drop down box. Right, so that works fine. Um, let's say, for example, we want something that is a checkbox. How, how, how do we make a checkbox work? Uh, so let's say we want something like, um, um, let's call it, okay, uh, subscribe to newsletter. The news uh, letter. How many keys have I got there? Three. Yeah, okay. And I click on select options again and click on add. So if I come here and say yes, um, we say, yeah, we we'll call it um, subscribe. And um, separate that as a subscribe to news letter now if if I if I click on save component and I come here and refresh this page now we'll find that this is a radio button but I want it to be a checkbox because once I click that I can't uncheck it so how then do I apply checkbox which is just um, singular so I go back here and click on edit and this time around i would select multiple and then i click on save components come back here and then refresh and that should now enable us to have a checkbox for subscribing to news uh, letter 
Uh, so that works fine. Um, let's see which other one we can work with. We'll do one more feud, and then we will, because we don't want that tutorial spin too long in the video. So we we'll do one more feud, and we we'll round this up and continue in another lesson. Let's say, uh, describe yourself. Describe yourself, and then uh, we we'll call it a text area. Click on that and um yep that works fine we can call it and uh, describe yourself in 300 words okay so that works fine display it's your text there in columns you can change it you can change the height if you want you can hide it later you can make it resizable Click on save component. So if we come here and refresh, so if you make it resizable, you have this which allows us to resize this. And so yeah, this is a basic uh, way of using the web form uh, merge in Drupal 7. Uh, in our next lesson, we look at how to do things such as the grid, um, the uh, page break and all at once. So um, I'll see you in the next lesson.